Hey guys, it's Wayne here again. Welcome back to my channel. This is the third devlog um, in my series with my new tool called the Indie Animator. Um, this is a new feature I've been working on. Um, it allows us to automatically create doors, uh, model them in Blender, and bring them into Unity. Um, if you don't know what the Indie Animator is, uh, you can see the first devlog video it gives a good overview of uh, what the tool is, it's basically two plugins, uh, one on the Blender side, one on the Unity side, uh, allowing to do game related uh, modeling, animation, that sort of thing. And I'm building on this tool as, as I go. So uh, we'll get right to it and uh, check and see what it's all about. So here I have a scene from our previous uh, uh, videos where you can see there's a little shop here and a little robot guy. Uh, the shop doesn't have any doors on it right now, uh, but we can walk inside and take a look around. Uh, but we probably would like to have some sort of doors on there, so it's more like a real shop. Um, so if we switch on over to Blender, you can see here I've got a couple of doors that I've modeled here, very basic doors that will uh, fit the area. Um, and they need an armature, so here I'm going to create a double door armature, I have a single or a double, and here we go, it already sets up the bones for you, uh, links them all together, assigns them, creates the weights, all done automatically. Um, and our next step here uh, is to animate them, so we can create ourselves a little open script. Um, you can, there's a couple of options, you can create just an open script, um, and the tool will automatically figure out um, uh, which one to use for opening and it'll uh, reverse it uh, to close the door. Uh, if you want a separate animation for closing the door then you can create a, a, a second animation for doing that. Uh, but in this case I'm just going to create one animation called shop doors open and this will take care of both for us. It cheats a little and uh, looks at the, the name of the animation. If it finds the word open in the name, then it knows it's the open animation. And if it doesn't find a closed one with a closed name, it'll use open for both one forward, one reverse. So, so here we're just going, going to go ahead and add some keyframes to a very basic uh, animation. Here we set our first keyframe with the doors closed. And we'll do another one where we open both doors and you'll see doors open. Second door opens. And then we'll set our keyframe. We only really need rotation, so we'll go ahead with that. And we can do a little test here to see that the doors open as we'd like them to. And that looks fine. So then we have to bake our animation. So go in here and bake it. And you can see that we now have our baked animation. And we'll just go ahead and export this door to Unity. And now our work in Blender is done. And you can see the new doors pop up. And we can just place them in our scene and you know rotate them and position them how they need to be in order to fit in the space. I'll just move this into position. And normally we'd have to do a lot of work from, from here to actually code this up, but it's all built into the plugin. And so if we go ahead and start this, We'll see, we now have a shop with doors, and we can just go ahead and walk inside. The animation happens, everything done. Literally no work on the Unity side. And we'll go back in, because we like to. And if you look at this script on the side, you can see there's a few settings here. You can change the animation speed, how much time we, we'd hold you back, uh, whether or not 
the state is locked. And in this case, we can't get in now because we've set the state to locked. And you can see there's an unlock key, and by default, it just calls it the gold key, but you can call it whatever you like. And then here's a, a script that's included in the, the plugin, which allows you to just attach to things and create a list of keys that you might have. And if you have the right key, the, uh, the doors will let you in. And you can go back and look at the shop doors here, and you'll see that it's unlocked the door and opened it for you. Now if I set it to relock when it closes, it opens and then relocks as soon as it closes. You can see the checkbox change. <clears throat> now if we go back to our character and we say our keys are only good for one use, single use, we can go in and you see that the key actually disappears from the list. And the next time we try and go in, we can't get in anymore. Oh, denied. So we can go ahead and create a couple keys. We'll show you this again. There's another gold key. And we create two gold keys. And so I should easily be able to see, oh, we went in, we used one key, it's now gone. But we still have one left behind. And now if we tell it to not relock when it closes, we can use our key. The key's gone now. But we can get back in because the shop doors didn't relock. And even though we don't have the key anymore, it's been unlocked once and now we can go in as many times as we want. So this covers all kinds of different scenarios. So that's basically the whole thing and uh, makes it easy to implement. You can make as many doors as you want and very quickly. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and if you uh, like the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.